Hey, this is my uh, pottery wheel recently finished. Uh, just thought I'd throw it out there for people if you need some ideas on doing it your own, yourself. These things are pretty expensive uh, to buy and so making them is an entertaining and cost-effective uh, option. But this is made out of a free treadmill that I got. I actually ended up with a few free treadmills when I decided I was going to build one of these and I realized that the uh, what you need in a treadmill is one with a manual speed controller and that's for the pedal. A digital speed controller may work somehow if you have a little more know-how than I do but uh, a manual one was was pretty easy for me to set up. Um, show you that here first. The I really wanted this pretty durable that's why it's not uh, so pretty. Uh, I need. I know I'm gonna have to move this around quite a bit, but so this is your uh, speed controller down here, and that's usually on the board of the treadmill. But I just hooked it up with some pulleys. If you can see that, uh, some pulleys and some eye bolts and just some wire. And that just feeds down there and hooks onto here to pull it one way and down there to pull it back. Um, you might be able to figure a better way out of figuring that, but that's probably my weakest point in the whole thing. Uh, but other than that, it's a treadmill motor with all the electronics. You don't need to know much about the electronics, just need to make sure that they're there with a, uh, my own on-off switch over here. Um, the, the bearings I used were just simple uh, bearings with a metal plate on the bottom to keep the weight up. I, I could have used pillow bearings, but I didn't know, I don't know how much weight those pillow bearings can take. Um, so I just put that metal plate down there and, and used those. This is a pulley out of a water or a evaporative cooler, swamp cooler. And that is uh, hooked up to this motor. And the motor is on a hinge and I've just pulled that back with some metal tape and zip ties to finish it off. And uh, so that's nice and tight. It's actually surprisingly uh, tight. This, I did have to uh, grind down this side of the uh, of the shaft so that my uh, my bolt would bolt on there and not spin around. Had to do the same thing up here. I have this other one up here for just for centering purposes um, to get a good center plate. Uh, thought about using a actual head. You can buy a head off online for like 60 bucks but the whole thing I figure cost me about 60 bucks and it just wasn't worth it. The uh, Pulley being the most expensive part of that. You could probably find them cheaper online. I just went to Home Depot for most, most of this stuff. But, um, yeah, it's just a bunch of wood connected. Some um, ply board. I might change this so it's a smoother wood. But it's just polyurethane with some caulk around there and some caulk around here to keep out some of the water uh, from the internal parts but pretty basic if you really think about it just a matter of doing it and, and thinking about it in your head but let's turn it on here you can see the board light up there's your motor going I'm gonna pull these turning the shaft I'm going up here like I say it's next to impossible to actually get this thing to stop. It's got plenty of plenty of force which is what I was mainly concerned about on the whole thing but it worked out quite nicely. Hopefully this helps anybody else looking for a way to uh, make their own pottery wheel.